The primary purpose for entraining air in concrete is to increase its durability when exposed to freeze-thaw cycles when water is present. Air entraining produces small, uniform and stable air bubbles within the cement matrix, forming a relief system that allows expansion of water as it freezes. There are three recognized test methods that determine the air content of freshly mixed concrete. The pressure method, the volumetric method, and the gravimetric method. Let's examine the pros and cons between these three methods. There are two types of pressure apparatus for determining air content of fresh concrete, type A and type B. Both units use similar procedures to consolidate fresh concrete, but each use a different technique to read the air voids within the sample. Type A meters are fitted with a sealed graduated cylinder, whereas Type B meters use a calibrated gauge. The Type B method has become the more practiced technique and is the focus of this section. With the Type B air meter, once the concrete is consolidated within the unit and following standards-based test procedures, pressurized air is used to compress the concrete specimen, and the calibrated gauge displays the total percent air content. The pros of the Type B air meter test method are that it is fast and reliable and has a proven history of test results. And the Type B method is easy to perform and requires little training. Test results are unaffected by changes in barometric pressure, like the Type A test method. And air meter calibrators provide a convenient field check for accuracy. The cons of this test method are it cannot be used for concrete mixes using lightweight or porous aggregates, and it requires determination of an aggregate correction factor. The Super Air Meter, or SAM, is a modified Type B concrete air meter that determines air content and also characterizes the size and distribution of air bubbles within the concrete mix. The SAM meter allows accurate predictions of freeze-thaw durability of exposed concrete. The initial air content part of this method meets test specification requirements. The complete SAM method is detailed in ASHDO TP118. The pros of the SAM method are that this test method determines air content as well as characterizes the air void size and distribution. Test results are available in 10 minutes versus weeks or months for other air void evaluations of hardened concrete. The cons are that the super air meter is more expensive than other type B air meters. It also cannot be used for concrete mixes using lightweight or porous aggregates and requires the determination of an aggregate correction factor. Whereas the Type B method uses a pressurized unit and a gauge to indicate test results, the volumetric method uses a graduated scale and agitation to determine air content of fresh concrete. Volumetric air content tests start with a concrete specimen of a known volume, consolidated within the sealed volumetric unit. After consolidation of the concrete in the base, a combination of water and alcohol is added. The vessel is then agitated vigorously. This action essentially washes out air voids, leaving only solids and liquids within the vessel. The percent of air is easily obtained on the site tube scale. The pros of the volumetric method are that the method can be used for all concrete mixes, regardless of aggregate type. Calibration of the testing apparatus is easy and is required less frequently, and no need for aggregate correction factor. The cons are the test is time consuming, requiring repeated cycles of agitation and resting until readings stabilize. Agitation is physically demanding. Scale graduations are less precise than a type B gauge, and carrying enough alcohol for repeated testing at high concentrations can be inconvenient. 
There are no published standards for using the Chase Air Indicator Kit. But this test procedure still may be useful for gauging uniformity of fresh concrete during a pour when correlated to a conventional concrete type B air meter. The pros for using the Chase Air Indicator method are its pocket size portability and it's a fast and easy way to check uniformity of batches during a pour. The cons are that test results are not precise and should not be the basis for acceptance or rejection. The gravimetric method is a less commonly used test method for calculating air content. Once the fresh concrete is consolidated into the testing unit per standardized testing procedures, a series of calculations are performed using the specimen weight and actual batch weights of the mix to determine the air content as well as unit weight, density, yield, and cement content. The pros using the gravimetric method is that test results provide data for a wide range of concrete properties using just one procedure. The cons are that calculations can be time consuming. Accurate test results require complete knowledge of exact batch quantities and slight variations in test procedures, mixed proportions, or specific gravities cause relatively large errors. For any questions about determining air content of freshly mixed concrete or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.